Hey, how's it going? This is Resident of Callwood for YouTube. Uh, back with another Dark Shadows video for you guys and gals. I'm here to do my reaction review to episode 54, season 2, episode 19. If you're watching on Tubi, here we go. Yeah, we got a nice tracking shot of Roger here after we got a view of the great house. Yeah, Francis Swan. Uh, is your writer, Lula Swift is your director for this episode. Yeah, they do a, a really good tracking shot of Lewis Edmonds and Roger Collins walking along the docks. I like how there's two cars there together. And he's going into his office. Phone's gonna ring. It's gonna be Bert Devlin. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> He wants black coffee. Um, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. He really is. So Burke's calling him. So, yeah, Burke's concerned that something's definitely happened to Bill Malloy. He's right. <laughs> if you watched episode 53, uh, yeah, this this episode is the debut episode, character-wise, of Cher, uh, George Patterson, Dana Elker's first DS appearance. <clears throat> yeah, usually, usually with DS, you get a mention of a character, and you did get a mention of a share of George Patterson in prior episodes. Uh, and finally, t this is the episode you get to reveal what he looks like, because um, Liz called him. <clears throat> yeah, this is still the this is still the same day <laughs> that uh, David Collins uh, told told Vicky that uh, somebody was going to kill her. Um, yeah, they were arguing about Bill Malloy. Where's Bill Malloy? Uh, Roger scolded uh, Burke about the uh, cr the crystal ball he gave his son. Uh, the phone is ringing. The phone is ringing. I feel like Wonder Pets. No. Um, <clears throat> I like how we get a close-up of the phone by Lila here. Great, great job. And that's your intro, too. A really great tracking shot by Roger. Good, good, honest conversation of, uh, with Burke and Roger about Bill Malloy, about uh, David Collins, Roger's son. Roger, to, hey, you give, giving a gift to my son. Why don't you consult my son's crystal ball? Uh, and there, now we're back at Collinwood. Liz hangs up the phone. Yeah. There, David's like, I'm more comfortable standing. There, David's Matthew Morgan. I hope I can find... Yeah, she's like, how, she, how could you do it? How could you uh, look at a body know, a man in our life and push him back in the scene? He was dead. <laughs> he said, I looked him up. Best of my knowledge, he drowned. Said I've seen drown men before. Remember Matthew? Matthew's gonna confess to something else here too. He's gonna confess that he didn't actually walk up the shore. He he uh, when he, after he pushed uh, Bill Malloy's body back in the ocean, he watched to make sure it went back out. He watched. Liz, I love how she stole in the mirror. You said I was thinking of Collinwood. Yeah, he says that what happens if it got out that they would have saw a body. There really was a body down there. But here's the thing, it's going to get found out anyway. He said no... Somewhere up the coast where Colin would cause a death.
So, he also says that Bill's body looked like it had been in the water for 24 hours. Probably because sea creatures picking at it and stuff. Crab stuff, all that stuff. What do you want me to tell the police or get her? Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. You have nothing to hide, she says. Yes, ma'am. Positive drone. And ask him. Freaking. Uh, he gets defensive with her, too. You see, you expect he might die some other way. He says about those are the questions the police are going to be asking. Won't be the police to ask him. Dark Devlin. Assassin. Maybe. There, there. It's Matthew Morgan. He looks so brutal. He looks like he's ready to like hurt somebody. He lo I love his look. I love the eyes he makes. He looks so like he's ready to punch somebody. He does such a great job with his facial features. It's own. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I really enjoy the fact that I've talked about the tracking shot. We don't even have the sheriff here yet, but you can sense that Matthew is worried. He's also he says that those are the questions the police are going to be asking, but he he's. He's also focused on Burke Devlin. He didn't want his story is he didn't he pushed the body back because he didn't want to say Collinwood caused another death at Collinwood. Uh, the body was found at Collinwood. But I mean they're gonna say that anyway once they do find his body because I know his body initially washed up here. Um, so it's really really interesting that. And, then, and I talked about how in the previous episode, Matthew makes himself a suspect. He makes himself even look worse here. Uh, sometimes it takes two really great act, veteran actors to put a character over. And I'm not saying Dana Elker didn't put his own character over. He did, for sure. But I gotta give a lot of credit to Third David in this episode. And <clears throat> so Ro yeah, Roger says now he's going to do things his way at the cannery. So that his new system will work much more effectively. Yeah. <laughs> the phone's buzzing. No, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. No phone calls. No. <laughs> Burke said, Burke said, uh, Burke told Roger said he expected him. There's a shouting match occurring here, let me tell you. Uh, great. <laughs> he's in shock. Call the company guard. So we'll search for Bill Memorial. He's searching for Malloy Party. He raises a love. Is he just another item in your books? He's also a friend, Roger says. None of yours. It's like, I want to ask you questions. Why don't you ask Sam Evans? I love Roger's response there. And I like what Burks are saying here, too. I already did. <laughs> I did. 
Yeah. Yeah. Liz looking out the window. Then she closes it. There's the sheriff. Here comes Dana Elker. So, somebody send this episode to Richard Dean Anderson. <laughs> somebody. Come in, George. He's a shy, shy sheriff. Oh, George is fine with me, Miss Daughter. I love the shot here. Great, great shot, Billy. And then the approach up as we're we're not getting a first person point of view. You're not gonna get that here in this episode, but you get Sarah David uh, Sarah David's Matthew Morgan looking at Sheriff George Patterson. I love George. I love George Patterson's question: Where's the body? Um, And we're back at the Rogers office in Berkson. I tried to see your ancestry home. You weren't home. So I didn't discover any deep dark secrets. So I talked to Carol. Can you wonder why you were there? And Bert says, I told him I wanted to talk to you about Bill Moore. Would you know? I wanted to see. That's where you live, isn't it? Bert said, I didn't consider him. And I'm not considering you. I'm telling you. Um, No. And Burke says the only proof that Bill Malloy was right about what he wanted to tell us about you and Sam Evans. Roger, I have nothing to do with Evans. I have to understand him a bit. He said that he's been going haywire. He's been saying all sorts of things. He said I want to Burke said he I think he wanted Sam Evans to cooperate there and he thought that he thought he had evidence. Why didn't Evans speak up then? Maybe he was afraid. Burke says Technically he doesn't have anything on Sam, that's the thing. I like Roger's line. You're like a man with a jigsaw puzzle trying to force the pieces to fit. <laughs> what a boss move, Bert Devlin sitting at at Frank or sorry, uh, at Roger's desk on his chair. He said, Five years I spent in prison because of you. That great, great cue for the music store. After he threw the dart at the board to and hit. There's Sheriff George Patterson we're back at Collinwood. He said he knew Bill Moore. Is a good name? He said you had no compunction about pushing body back in water. He said I'd do the same thing again. He, he's he's not helping himself at all. There, David's character. He's a. Uh, Dana Dana does a really great job here. He says it the minute he told about it, the minute he told her about it, he got on the phone, called it George. I love Dana Elker saying, I don't have a proper charge list. I could come up with something like burial without a license. She hadn't done it. I like this. 
Yep. I love that right there. That's. <clears throat> you have you have D Dana Elker says to Thayer Davids Matthew Morgan because he says I wasn't thinking when I pushed the body back in, and Dana Elker says and smart detective might say you were thinking real good pushing that body back in might hide something that was already there and I think that's such a great great line to give to Dana Elker's character here's a character we've only got mentioned I've often talked about how the Dark Shadows characters the writers did a great job I'm not taking anything away from them but the actors really delivered their lines so thoroughly and so well it's a gem to watch my friends it really 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 is oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, yeah, I've a case like this and he's gonna try to estimate you know the time and stuff and we're back at, we're back at the at Rogers uh, I love how uh, Roger, I have nothing to do with Evans. And it burks like you and Evans were as thick as this. You, Roger, you, you know, you're talking about. You would have proved it. So Burke says, Roger, <laughs> tells him, you want to jump to the conclusion, you only leap him. I like how Roger says he has not disappeared. He just hasn't appeared. No, 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 it's worse. But I mean, even before that, I mean, he did disappear. <laughs> how do you not appear? I mean, you, you don't appear because you disappeared. I, I love the, the psychology, though. <laughs> Roger says, I don't know anything about Sam Evans. But Sam Evans knows something about you. That's what Burke says. Great, great stuff. I love the fact, by the way, you can still see the scar on Roger's head from the car crash. Really, really good. You wanted me? So... Bart tells Roger what Bill Malloy's proposition was to him. He tells him that Bill Malloy offered him him. And Roger turned back to him. He said, So I'm gonna pause that there because I know like I remember the rest of the episode pretty well. Um, before I get into George Pat, what George Patterson's saying here, that I love the camera work by Leela. That there's a close up of Burke. Burke is walking toward Roger as he's talking. And by the time he finishes his sentence, that he offered. That Bill Malloy offered Roger, he offered, he tells him he offered you on a silver platter. You have Burke standing sort of, not directly, directly behind him, but behind him until Roger's left. And Ro Roger, through his headless character, turns his head with this serious look. It's really, really good. Here, what you get here is their estimate. Uh, I love Dana Elker's. They're trying to esti estimate the time. He says, can we say about 1230? And Matthew Morgan says, yeah. You're also going to get back at the office a really cool scene where Burke, where Roger storms out of his own office because he's, he's going home. 
he gets the call to go home. And Burke throws the dart and it hits the bullseye. One of my, my favorite my favorite scene in this episode here. I've talked about, yes, Dana Elker got his character over for sure. Where where Thayer David helps with that a bit. When he when Dana Elker's character is in the drawing room still, Matthew is leaving. Okay, he's going he goes left, he's going toward the kitchen. And that's when George Patterson says, well, when we find the body, we're going to have to do an autopsy to see if he wasn't, you know, see if he wasn't murdered and stuff. And you want to talk about Fair David does a really good job of stopping dead in his tracks and listening to Sheriff George Patterson's work. words. What a way to put two characters over at the, at the same time. This is already over to me by this time you know she's over enough with the audience she's going to continue to be over because she's Joan is just such a presence herself but here you have a new character in Sheriff George Patterson played by veteran actor Dana Elker and Thayer David uh, Matthew Morgan who they're both veteran actors are both very smart they know how to posture their face. They know how to move their bodies. They know how. They know when to react to something, and they do. They do a great job. Leela does a great job with the camera work too of showing this. Go watch this scene. Leela shows him stop and listen to that, and it's such a. I mean, he he's standing there. They can't see him, even though the doors are because he's off to the side, more toward the kitchen a bit, because he's that's where he's going to go into to leave the house. He doesn't. That's the thing about Matthew and some of the you know people who are at Collinwood. They don't always leave through the foyer. Um, we get because there's a way to get out through the kitchen. Um, so it's really. It's really, really good, the camera work in this episode. And not just the camera work, obviously, but the acting. Dana Elker has arrived, my friends. And so, the, you know what that means. So has Sheriff George Patterson. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Sheriff George Patterson comes for you? <laughs> yeah, I took the theme from Cops of Bar. <laughs> Don't sue me! Uh... Really, really fun episode. And I think, too, another thing I really like here is, too, it doesn't, I wouldn't classify this as filler because you're getting some information out of Matthew Morgan. And you're also determining, too, because he does admit that he lied to Liz again. He lies to, he said he went for a walk up the, you know, up and down the, the, the coat, the beach. No, he says nope. I didn't do that actually. I when I pushed Bill Malloy, Bill Malloy's body back out, I watched it go up. That's what took him so long, and, and that and he checked the body over. He says, so really, really great job by obviously the writer, the director, the actors, just everybody in job job in this episode does an amazing job of just keeping your interest and just you're just you're just on the edge of your seat like waiting for something to happen and though nothing you know from a big standpoint it doesn't happen you get a lot of little stuff in episodes like this it's dark shadows gives you the little stuff that drives you for miles and miles really and they do a great job of doing that um hope you guys enjoyed this episode review uh take care